Hello everybody, welcome to today's Guitar Pass lesson. We are gonna do it on Free Fallen by Tom Petty. Um, you've probably heard it. It's a very classic, popular song, uh, played quite a bit. Uh, a lot of people like to learn this on the guitar. There's some cool sound, it's just a cool sounding thing on an acoustic guitar. Um, of course, electric too. Um, and you, when you look when you look around to try to learn this, there's uh, you either see people with a capo on, you know, even the video with Tom Petty on Free Fallen, you know, he's got the capo on the first fret. And a lot of people are teaching it with capo on the third fret and doing it out of a D. Right? Uh, that's when you hear a lot. Um, looking into this, I thought um, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to learn both parts because I think they're both really cool. And if you have a buddy, they can do the other part and it's got some great texture. Very cool. Um, but uh, the play along and the main emphasis of the lesson will be on the capo one because I think it's got a richer tone. When you're just you singing it, I think it really works well. Um, though you may want to try it with the capo three and just do a performance like that. You might switch it up uh, in the different moods, right? So that is, uh, but we're gonna get you prepared to do either one. Uh, but again, we'll focus on that and then I'll do a few videos on the capo three. This was on his, um, this was released in 1989 on his uh, uh, Full Moon Fever album, which I think every song is really good on that album. It's a great complete album, killer big album for him. I remember when it came out, cause I'm that old. Um, so anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy it. There's some rhythm patterns here. Don't get too hung up on the rhythm. This is a very, I could spend like nitpicky all these up and down things. And we're all going to get lost. I gave you some ideas to start on and, uh, but I want you to just kind of feel it and, uh, and, uh, play along with it and just get the vibe. Beginners just do the chord changes. The intro is great for that. Um, so anyway, enjoy. I uh, hope you have a lot of fun. Hey, before we start the lesson, just want to let you know about a 14-day free trial at guitarpass.com. I think you're going to really dig it, a lot of content. Check out the description below for that and enjoy the lesson. All right, we're going to do the intro and the, the slow verses. There'll be slow verses and fast verses. So we're capoed at the first fret. So we're doing it in this version. And we're going to be playing out of like an E chord. So when we do that with the capo at the first fret, it's F. So we're in the key of F. But we're going to refer to the chords as E and A and B. And that's what we're going to do. Now the intro and the slow verse, we're going to do kind of like smaller chords, we'll call them. And then we'll just call the other ones the normal chords when we do the other stuff. So smaller chords. So instead of this full E here, you could do it. But uh, I kind of like the idea of doing this. It kind of reminds me that I have to strum 4, th four 3, 2, 1. I'm avoiding the six and five. So I'm just putting my first finger here on the third string. So I'm just doing that part of E rather than this. I'm kind of replacing that. And I'm just strumming four, three, two, one. And then when we do the next chord, I'm just gonna drop this third finger here. I could keep my first finger here if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna do that. It's kind of, it's kind of just a brighter sound for the intro and the slow verse to ease into it. So it's kind of nice. You got your E, and then this is an A sus2, uh, fancy word for this kind of A, where it's just these two guys. And then you're gonna go, you're gonna hit it again, back, and then you're gonna do that same A shape and bring it over here to uh, that dot. From the capo, it's one, two, three, four, fourth fret from the capo. That's our B. Now in actuality, we're doing an F, B flat and C. If you were to tell a bass player, a fiddle player, hey, do these. But uh, we're just going to worry, we're guitar players, we're just going to worry about capo on the one and then let's call the chords what we're used to calling them. Uh, so this, so you know, uh, you're going to do this twice in the intro. Uh, you'll get the feel you heard the song before when we play it, the singing, the words, the play along at all. The timing comes together. I'm not going to worry about how many beats you hold things. Just get the feel. Boom. You can do it again for the intro. And then you would go into the slow verse, which is going to be exactly the same. She's a good girl, loves her mama. Might help you tie in the chords with it. Loves Jesus 
and America too. She's a good girl, crazy about Elvis, loves horses, and her boyfriend too. Whoops, I hit something weird there. <laughs> but that's how it is. We're just going to kind of do it on the changes. Great for when you're beginners to do this. And, and also just before we get into the rhythm of things, it's really strong changes with those words. So we'll just lock in that sound and then we'll fill it in with strummy stuff when we uh, get to the next, the faster verses. Okay, so for the faster verses kick in, and also the chorus is going to be the same thing. Um, we're going to do the bigger version of those chords, the normal versions. So for E, we're just going to do the full E, right? Let's strum it all. We're still going to keep that A sus though. It's got a nice airy A sus too. It's, it's, it's adding this B note. It's got a nice airy sound to it, and we're going to keep that. You know. And for instead of this B, which you can do anytime you want to throw that in there, but this one really gives it a nice full sound. It's a on here on the second fret from the capo, fifth string. It's a power chord. We're going to do, uh, and then on the fourth string, and then I'm going to add my pinky on the third string and strum them all though, so it's this nice ringy thing. So it's really, it's a a power chord root five right here. But we love getting that nice air. You can do this in, in the key of E. When we're doing E chords, I should say. So that's going to be our, our B now. So when we kick up the fast verses, uh, you know, you want to strum. You could just go down, up, down, up, down, and just kind of see if that, just start. You, we've got the, the location of the change, but we want to just add strums to it. I'd say try to do this freely. You know, down, up, down, up, down. And anytime you go, dun, dun, it's usually like one strum each for that. Down, up, 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 down. Down up, down up, down up, down up. It's a little, you know, in this recorded version, there's like three or four guitars going on. One's capoed at the third fret, which we're going to talk about later. It's got this guy. Someone's doing a real strong rhythm. Uh, to put it all together, when I play this and sing it naturally, uh, I do a, a, a little different strumming. But I just wanted to kind of get you getting the feel of it right there. But it's hard to describe this rhythm thing here, but I'm going to, and, and I want you to do it freely, and when we do the play along, you're just going to just match the feel. But let's start somewhere. This uh, this is a one that uh, we should just try. So for E, you're going to go down, up, down. So I'm just going to play it. So it's, I, I'm, sometimes I'm, I'm not going to do it the exact same every time. I feel like I bury it, and that's fine, and you will too. But let's start somewhere. I'm going to go down, up, down for the E. Down, up, down. Then I go to the A. I'm going to go down, 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 up, down, up. So let's look at that. One more time. And then we're gonna do A sus, E, one strum. And then we're gonna to go to that B, and we're gonna do the same thing we did for the longer A sus. Down, 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 up, down, up. So, oh, hello. Practice that and get the feel of that. You know, as you get going, you might start adding some ups, you know, like down. Or I might smack it there. I might add a little up strum. Down, down. Or, you know, like down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Don't worry too much about that. You're going to see me doing some of that, but just work on the... And when you want to do the smacks, I did a smack. 
I did a smack on the B there, you know. Definitely like that smack on the E. Down, up, smack. That's what I'm calling the smack. Down. So get used to doing that a bunch in a row. That will get you started on the strumming. Again, you want to be free with it and just feel it, but that's a good thing to loosen up your uh, rhythm on this one. Uh, and it works. Just do that and you're good. But uh, if you end up adding little things, don't get too hung up on the ups and downs of that. Just kind of keep it going. If it sounds good and when you're playing along with the play along, great. Uh, now, when we do, just a heads up, when we... From the intro and the slow verse, the first slow verse, when we kick in um, with this, we do one full round of the fast verse, uh, and then we start the, the verse. You'll, you'll hear it in the play along, but you know, when we're doing the slow, and then we're going to kick in. For one of these, and then we're going to start singing again. It's a long day. So uh, so just note that. It's just a one little thing right there in the beginning of the song. And the other thing, too, is when we do the other slow verses, this is a very repetitive song. It's the same chords. So we're working on dynamics. So some is going to be strummy or, you know, faster strum, some slower strum. So it kind of gives a little tension uh, and feel to it, depth to the song. And uh, kind of mimicking what he does, too. Um, so... The, when we do the, going forward on the slower verses, we will do the full chords. Unless you feel like you want to really lighten it up and do it like in the intro, but I kind of like that intro being really light and then having it heavy the rest of the time. It seems to work well, but uh, just something to think about. So there's a couple parts in this song called the interlude. Uh, this is interlude one. This is the part where he does a cool little riff within the chords, and then it goes, you know, the chorus vocal will be like, free falling, I'm a free falling. Uh, I'm going to just play it. I kind of came up with my own little version of it. It's tricky because the riff happens, and I'm still trying to incorporate it with the chord, so I'm playing it as a solo piece. Another guitar player could just do the riff. Uh, so I'm kind of going to, I'll explain what I'm doing, but I'm trying to fit it in here a little bit. So it's like normal here. But when I'm at this B, my third finger is going to slide a whole step, two frets, and then I'm going to hit that, and then I'm going to go to second fret. So, one strum. Now, if you play along with the record, it might not be totally perfect, because I'm trying to fit it in with what we're doing here, but... You can, uh, that's why they have a few guitar players. Um, we'll see in the capo three, we can kind of get a little more of that first chord, uh, which I guess I shouldn't talk about that. I'm going to talk about that right now. So when we do them in a row, I, that's my first E chord right there. I have to now start the next section on the A sus instead of the E, because I use this as my E in the timing of it. So I'm going to do two in a row so you know what I'm talking about. Now again, beginners just strum through it. Don't have to have someone else do that if you're jamming with someone, or just strum through it. Because uh, what's going on, it's going. Free falling, I'm a free falling. Free falling, I'm a free falling. So big. That's how it goes. So the beginner might just go, just strum the regular chords and rhythm and just sing that part. But I think it's kind of cool to add that riff. Uh, it's pretty neat. So again, it happens riff, uh, the chorus vocal, riff, chorus vocal. So it just happens like two times in a row. You'll see it in the play along. So again, I'll do it slow.
and then we'll go to the next verse. So there is that part. Okay, so the next interlude that we're going to do, I believe it's after the chorus, after verse 4, um, is I call the power chord interlude, uh, or interlude number 2. Uh, and there's two ways to do it. You know, one way is, uh, you know, we're doing an E, so we can just do this power chord. I mean, I can just chunk the chords. You know. So that actually is just fine. This is the, you know, the power chord. And there, you know, here's, you know, on the fifth string, six and five, that's an E. Uh, on the fourth string here, we have five and four, that's an A. And we still have this, just don't air it, air it out like we've been doing. You know, and I'm kind of doing a, or, you know, I'm kind of muffling, using my palm mute right here and just, You haven't done it just kind of get the feel of it put that palm there and get it tight this is without it that's with it it's kind of hanging right there whether you're doing the full chords or the power chords it might just be cool just doing this that's probably a good way to go just because you're already doing that and you're just chunking it now you're just hitting like six and five or Five and four, you know. Six and five there, five and four, six and five, five and four. With that little chunky muffling. But it's kind of good to know there's the power chords too. Now another way to do it is, here's that E, but you can also do the power chord right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five away from the capo. So. You can do seven away for the for the B chord. So I got that's another way of doing it. It's good to know these. Whether I'm adding the pinky, it just adds more fullness to it. It's the same chord. So that's it, and you're gonna do that two times, you know, right? You're gonna so maybe I'll do it once this way, and I'll do the closed way. And then you're actually going to go right into the chorus again, and you're going to double up the chorus. You're going to do the chorus two times, and then, and then uh, you know, maybe you hold out that a little bit, and then end it on that E. You'll see in the play along. I'll figure something out. But uh, that is the interlude power chord, and going right to the end to doubled up the chorus and uh, end on that E. All right, so let's look at the Capo 3 version, a very popular way to play this song. In the recording, someone's doing this, someone's doing the other one. You can see in the video and, and all, all that that, uh, you know, Tom Petty's got it on the Capo 1. I think if you're just playing and singing and want a thicker strumming sound, that might be the way to go. But this is pretty darn cool, too, and sometimes you might use this one. Some, another night you might do the other way. Uh, if you have two people playing, one can do this, and it's got great texture with, with the other one doing the other thing. Um, so let's get to it. So capo on the three, but we're going to look, we're basically going to play D chords, uh, the key of D chords. So we got D, which when we do it here on capo three, it's that key of F that we're, that's in the other one. So you'll be able to play along with the You'll use this. You can use this version to play along with our play along thing later, as well as the other one. So, and just kind of match up the parts, and that's what we're going to go. Quick little view here of all the parts, because it's all the same strumming and everything. But in the intro, again, you might go. I'm going to lighten it up a bit, and a way to lighten it up is just adding this pinky, this sus four, D, right on the first string there. So you got. Right? And then you're going to keep this third finger down and put your first finger on the fourth string, second fret to the capo, and then this guy right behind it on the third string, second fret to the capo. It's a little bit of a stretch, but get it in there. And again, you're just kind of strumming these four strings. This is kind of, this is an A sus4. Now again, it's F, and then uh, this is a uh, a little sus thing that we kind of did for the A, you know, in place of the A. So this is really F, 
uh, B, or excuse me, yeah, F, B flat, and then C. Uh, if you were telling a bass player or whatnot, those are the real chords. But again, we're just going to worry about what we're playing on the guitar. And again, if you, you want to ring that out, but if you feel like... Down, down, up, down, up. You know, if you want to add a little something at the end there, that's cool too, just throwing that at you. Um, okay, so that is the intro and the slow verse. You know, she's a good girl, loves her mama, loves Jesus. You know, that whole deal there. And now when we get into the faster verses, uh, instead of doing, I, I kind of like to give it a little fuller sound. So same strumming, you can do this. You know, that's cool. But uh, instead of this sus thing, I wanna, how about I just go to a G chord, which I put my pinky down anyway, so it's kinda got that sus, and I'm just gonna, I'm really just, I really just wanna add this this guy. I really don't care about this guy, but I might put him there because I'm so used to it. So it's, hello. You know, so when I'm going, it's a long, Living in Reseda, there's a freeway running through the yard. You know, that kind of thing. So that will work just instead of this. And then anytime you do the slower ones later, <clears throat> you might want to just do that sus again. That works really good in this capo. So um, that is kind of the intro, the slow and the fast verse with this. These guys these use the same rhythm. All right, so the interludes, uh, and then we should have all the parts. So the interludes, you know, uh, for that first one with the riff, we can do that similar riff. We're gonna do it right here. It's this finger now that's gonna stay down and we on the fourth string. So I'm gonna slide it. And then open and hammer on that. Now, if hammer ons are hard for you, just go, just pick it if you want. But it kind of gives it a little nice smooth sound there, so it's. Now with this, because this open string is kind of ringing, it gives me time that I could maybe sneak a little one chord in there, the, the this guy. But like before, we could just do this. You know? Let that ring out. Or you could do a little sneak there, go. I can sneak a little in there because it's ringing out, gives you a little time to. I'll just do it a couple times. I'm kind of up, down, boom. So it's a little tricky there. Or keep it simple. Experiment with that. Uh, keep it simple that way, but if you want to sneak a little of that in there, it's cool. Uh, when you do it the original way, the easier way. You can let that ring out and gives you a little break and then come back to it. Or, you know, add a little rhythmic thing there. So uh, that is the interludes and you should have all the parts for the capo three and just play along the play along will be in capo one uh but now you can play along with capo one stuff or try it with the capo three too she's a good 
good girl Loves her mama Loves Jesus And America too She's a good girl Crazy about Elvis Loves horses And a boyfriend It's a long day Living in Reseda There's a freeway Running through the yard I'm a bad boy Cause I don't even miss her And I'm a bad boy For breaking her heart I'm free All the vampires walking through the valley move west down Ventura Boulevard and all the bad boys are standing in the shadows all the good girls are home with broken hearts and I'm free I want to ride her name in the sky I'm going to free fall out into nothing I'm going to leave this world for a while Cause I'm free Free fall Well, I'm free, free falling, yeah, I'm free, free Hey, thanks for checking out that lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget, 14-day free trial at guitarpass.com. See you there.